I'm also happy at the same time. All right, all the best. Here's my question to you. Do you think men and women are given the same opportunity in life? What is your opinion? Thank you so much, sir, for the question. Today, definitely women are starting to get equal opportunity as compared to the previous time. But we can't conclude because we never know what the upcoming will be. Thank you. Between education and money, what will you choose and why? Thank you for the question. So, giving me the question, if I had to choose between education and money, I would choose both. Because without education, money, uh, without education, we can't earn money. And in this present scenario and in the changing civilization, I feel both plays an important role because we can see quite a difference between a uh, civilized and an uncivilized person. So uh, I feel education is important as equally as money because uh, in this present world, money is important as equally as education. Thank you. Contestant number two, right? Yes, sir. How are you feeling right now? I'm feeling quite excited. Quite excited? Yes. And not nervous at all? Yes, because I'll try my best. Good, good. All right. So here is your question. If you had to create one new law that everyone in the world could follow, what would it be and why? Do you want me to repeat it again? That's fine, thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you very much for the question, sir. Law is something which everybody needs to follow in life. If I were, if I get the opportunity to create a law in this world, I will create a law which every girls and every boys and every man and every woman will get the opportunity to work equal in everything and even in the course of education. Because women are given less opportunity and they are always dependent on the household while boys and men were sent to outside of the world to see beautiful things and even to achieve their goals. Thank you. I'm honored to stand here. That was a lucky shot, right? With a well-cut entry. Yes, indeed. Let me make it easy for you, okay? How would you define success? Thank you, sir, for the question. Uh, with respect to the question, I would say success, in, in my opinion, success would be achieving one's goal, passion, that we love and offering back to the society with what we have is what success to me. Thank you. I'm proud to be a Naga. Because I live in Nagaland, the state of festivals. The three things which makes our state popular is our state is known for the land of festival, the festivals of festivals, where Hornbill Festival is known, for, uh, is known to everyone. Second point I would like to share is, recently we have the state government, the government, central government has announced our state as the state of horticulture, rich in horticulture, horticulture where cultivation is brought up. And example, uh, the king, the Naga King Chile. The third point which I like to share about our, Nag our Nagaland is we have different types of tribes and different who, who speaks different languages and which makes our Nagaland more popular. Thank you so much, everyone.
Your new Miss Fresher goes to contestant number eight. The next Mr. Fraser. Contestant number? I can't hear you. Contestant number? It's contestant number 12. 